The patron boys have spoken. So, I wanted to make this video a while ago, and I had this whole joke planned where I'd be like, how do you upgrade something by smashing it with a hammer? And I would take my old Xbox 360, destroy it with a hammer, and then out of nowhere it would, boop, be an Xbox One. People would laugh, some would cry, it would be a glorious mess, and come on, who doesn't like hammering stuff? It feels so good. <sighs> But then Blizzard decides, no, Torb only has one turret level, so there's no need to hammer it to upgrade it. <laughs> and like that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before this video starts, I need to do something. In the spirit of the holidays, let me buy the Santa Bjorn skin. There we go. Beautiful. We'll be having a wonderful Christmas time. Torb, torb, torby, 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 torby. Torbjorn Lindholm, aka Torb, aka Torby, seriously, they call him that in the comics, I'm not even joking, you can look it up, is a Swedish engineer and weapon designer. Before the Omnic Crisis, Torby was selling weapons to other countries, but he wanted to use the tech to make the world better. But as we all know, Kindness does not pay the bills, am I right? So we kept making weapons, even creating Bastion. Yes, all the Bastion robots were created by Torbjorn. Either way, he was super paranoid of AI, and he was rightfully so because the Omnix rose up and declared war on humanity. Torb was one of the first people to join Overwatch to stop his own creations, losing an eye and an arm in the process. After Overwatch disbanded, Torb spent the rest of his life traveling all over the world to get rid of all the weapons that he created from all these evil people like Talon and those crazy Australian guys. That's basically the story of Torb. Oh god, how could I forget? He also has like 40 kids, including Brigida, so if you hate Brig, say thanks Torb, hashtag thanks Torb, cause it's his fault. Okay, now that you know who he is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Torb's gun is the Rivet Gun, aka Mega Man's gun. Like, if you think about it, it's like very similar. It can be used as a single projectile that does up to 125 damage, or as a shotgun with 12.5 damage pellets. Now, this gun has an arc to it that makes it hard to aim from a distance, but if it lands, it does massive damage. I got the Moira. And at close range, it's pretty good at melting people like tanks. But we all know what his real weapon is, and that weapon is his hammer. But seriously, his hammer is mostly used to repair the turret. What's a turret, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. You know? Torb's first ability is Deployed Turret. You throw a turret and it upgrades itself after a couple seconds. It will target anyone in sight and does 14 damage per round, up to 40 meters away. And it has 250 health. Hmm, kind of reminds me of someone. Hmm, but who? Ah, uh, I don't know. This is the main part of Torbjorn's kit. You can win entire games just by keeping this turret alive. Use it to cheese noobs while behind a big shield, comboed with Bastion. <laughs> you will definitely get gold damage and elims as long as it's alive. Now that the turret is deployable, you can actually use it on defense and on offense. You can put it in cheeky positions. Plus, you can throw a turret up and block Reinhardt's charge. Also, I'm pretty sure that you can block Diva's bomb. But don't quote me on that. Nerf this. Enemy needs 15 kills to win. Just watch yourself get play of the game while just sitting there and doing nothing. Mwah, beautiful. So when Blizzard reworks characters, they tend to do the same thing. Mercy's res was an ultimate, now it's an ability. Symmetra's teleporter was an ultimate, now it's an ability. Torb's old molten core was an ultimate, and now it's basically an ability, and that ability is called Overload. When you use Overload, Torbjorn gains 150 armor, moves faster, and shoots faster for 5 seconds. It's useful for getting the hell out of a lost team fight, or you can use it when you want to go all in like Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins! I got bopped in the air! 
I got bombed. I got bombed so hard. Sometimes you're about to die and your healers don't understand how to, you know, heal. So use it to get some health for five seconds. Torb, best healer, 2019. Don't at me. Why the Torbjorn's ultimate is Molten Core, aka Orange Play-Doh, because you know it just kind of looks just looks a lot like Orange Play-Doh. You know, maybe Blizzard could work a little bit harder on like designing his ultimate so it doesn't look kind of bad. Is it just me? Am I the only one? Okay. Torb sprays goo. Wh whoops, wrong game. Torbjorn sprays gooey lava all over the area, dealing 160 damage a second or 190 damage to armored enemies. This is great for melting tanks and Brigida's armor. You can use it to block entryways or chokes. Spray into a Zarya Graviton and watch them all burn. Burn them all. Burn them all! Just watch out for Genji's deflect. Okay. Oh no, they both record us! He can actually deflect the lava. I know, his little knives, they don't just melt, they just deflect it. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Torbjorn works the best with compositions that help keep his most powerful ally, aka the turret, alive. So pair him with Orisa or Ryan for maximum shielding. On a cart, you can put a turret on there and do the famous pirate comp. But macro, I don't know what the pirate comp is. Well, you noob. First of all, don't interrupt me. But second of all, I'm an expert on this. So I'm going to teach you how to do it real quick with three easy steps. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Step one, get someone that's down to play Orisa for you the entire game. Step two, put a turret behind the shield on the payload. Step three, put some pirate music on. Get that shield up. This is how you play. This is the easiest way to play. I'm slept. Uh... No, my turret is it still alive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we still win then. Dude, this is like number one priority. Right <laughs> turret, do your thing. I'm trying. Turret, kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm sitting. <laughs> ah, let's see what I got it. <laughs> Trust me, it works. His DPS is much stronger now that he overloads, so he is actually quite useful for tearing down shields. Plus, his turret immediately locks on targets, so flankers like pesky tracers and annoying Genjis—they're a lot easier to kill. The turret annoys a lot of people, so placing it in smart locations can make an enemy's push even harder. Torb's gun is very difficult to use, even for those who can aim. I wouldn't recommend using Torb as a Farah counter. Also, Farah can pretty much outrange your turret and just shoot it from a distance. And because he isn't that mobile, and neither is his turret, I wouldn't recommend him for dive. There's a Junkrat up top, I can't, I can't. I need some help with that. On offense, he is not as strong since he relies a lot on his turret, but not as much as he used to, so he's not 100% a troll pick anymore. <laughs> his hitbox is huge, so Hanzo, Widow, and McCree, they will eat him up for breakfast. Cause you know, he thick. I tried so hard, and I did everything I could. With four golds, I'm Torbjorn and I'm the best. I stop and stare at you. Torbin's newest change really adds a lot more to his playstyle. Before, it was the turret featuring Torb. Now, it's Torbjorn featuring the turret. He really has more to offer, so try him out on defense, on the cart, or even on offense, but please, for the love of God, if you aren't doing well with him, just switch. It's okay. Sometimes, some characters just don't work. But what do you guys think? Does he need buffs? Does he need more nerfs? I mean, I don't think he needs nerfs. Is he perfectly balanced? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment which character you want me to do next. Write blank for noobs in the comments. And don't literally write blank for noobs. That joke is stupid. Please, I'm begging you. Be more creative in the comments, guys. Freaking noobs. And with that, I'm out. <coughs> jingle Torb, Jingle Torb, Jingle Torb Rock. Jingle Torb Swing and Jingle Torb Ring. Throw in the turret up into the air. Am I gonna switch, man? I don't care. I'm a Torb main, please don't complain If I don't switch at all I'll play Torb then, give me an orb zen Torbjorn is like three feet tall